kind of like this eggnog stuff, you know? Eggnog stuff is great. Eggnog is uh, it's pretty good. Pretty it's good. good for the lungs. It's good for the soul. Yeah, the soul. Yeah. Good for the Christmas spirit. Yes, definitely. Especially when it's spiked. Right. You think <laughs> Santa drinks eggnog spiked? Absolutely. Hmm. Favorite drink. He invented it. Really? You didn't know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. Hmm. An elf told me. An elf? Yeah. You met an elf? Yeah. It's my cousin. Your cousin's an elf? Yeah. Shit. His name's uh, John Secco. John Secco. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Ah! 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 Okay. Yeah! Did, your co- right. did your cousin, the elf, got any uh, any dirt on Santa? John Secco? Yeah, John Secco. <sighs> I have a theory. You you want you want to know the theory? I kind of want to know the theory. Yeah. The theory from John Secco, my cousin elf. Yes. How tall is he? Uh, four three. Four three. Yeah. He's that's big. Pretty, that's pretty tall for an elf. Yeah, he's pretty tall. He's big. If you know what I mean. Big. He's got a no. size twelve down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. T- uh, I'm talking about his feet. That's Joe. what I was talking about. Yeah. What's this theory? My theory is. Mm-hmm. That Santa's a pimp. Okay. Now hear me out. All right. Number one, Santa runs around with his ho ho hoes. All right. That's first of all thing. He sneaks into little kids, you know, houses, delivers them some presents. Uh-huh. That's number one. All right. Number two, why do you think he's delivering all these gifts? What's what, what's your uh, opinion on that? Why he's delivering the yeah. gifts? Yeah. Let me just hear you out. Well, you know, I mean, the whole idea around Santa was to spread Christmas joy. Well, that's definitely not it. I know from John Secco, my cousin Elf. This is why he delivers. He he, he told John Secco in private, you know, because I was his. Uh, so him and John Secco are like. Yeah, they're like tight. This. Number one Elf. They're, okay, they're yeah. tight. Okay. Passed away though. Rest in peace. Rest John in Secco. peace, John Secco. <laughs> you four three Elf. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is, this is why I think he gives away all of his presents. Okay. He goes yeah. delivers kids all these presents. Right. Right. My thing is because he ruins all these families. He's a home wrecker. He's a home wrecker. What a bitch! Now he's he's sleeping around with the mom. I mean, mm. that's why he he feels bad. He's a home wrecker. He's gonna come in. He's like, oh shit! All right, I'll just give the kid a a freaking toy truck. Yeah, yeah. You know, let it be. Ha- uh, put a little bit of uh, ice on the on the burn. You know. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. You know. Here you go, kid. Buy yourself something yeah, nice. Yeah, exactly. Number three. Yeah. Santa's a pimp. Yes. Because this fucking guy. All right. Goes on vacation for 11 months, chilling out, sipping on beer, whatever the hell he wants to do, and he's just chilling. Yeah. That's why he's fat. Right. You know what I mean? It's good life. He's going around. I'm sure when he's on these islands vacationing around, he's leaving Mrs. Claus back at home. I mean, he's not bringing that bitch with him. Mrs. Claus? She's yeah. such a nice lady, though. Oh, yeah. She's a she's a bitch. Anyway. She's a bitch. I, I know from John Secco. John Secco? Yeah. Uh, oh, my <laughs> God. Anyway, this guy lounges around. Probably getting all the biddies. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. He's like a celebrity. So Santa- Holy shit, it's Santa Claus. He's laying right by the pool. You know, someone's going to go over and give him a little something. Yeah, probably. I mean, I would if I see Santa. Would you Would you say Santa's a stunat? I think that's a question for the audience. Speaking of stunats, what's going on, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the second episode of the Stunads podcast. I'm your host, Joe Denizio, and I'm joined by my co-host, Dominic Lampasona. And uh, if you're watching this on the day it airs, it's Christmas. Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry and uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. Yes. So, Dom, uh, yes. we have we have, we have, a, we this have some This is beef. our Christmas edition to the max. This is the Christmas, Christmas Extreme. Yes, yes. And we're, we have tons of <laughs> holiday content we're bringing to you guys. But, uh, Dom, we have some beef to settle. Before we get into any of the content we're providing today, yeah. yes, we put a poll at the end of our last episode, mm-hmm. and the poll was: Is Die Hard, the Bruce Willis Christmas action thriller, a Christmas movie? Now, Dom one has never seen the fucking movie, <laughs> and he thinks it's not a Christmas movie. Oh, Me, on the other hand, I grew up watching Die Hard. Die Hard is, in fact, a Christmas movie. So, Dom, yeah. I want you to read the people, the results from the poll we posted on Instagram. So what do we got? What do we got for these results here on, on the poll that we posted? All on right. Instagram? Well, I posted it says twenty hours ago. Mm-hmm. So we'll just read it off now. Yeah. Put a poll. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Fifty-two percent. Yes. 
forty-eight percent now. <laughs> That's right. However, That's right. No, ha- shut your goddamn mouth. Shut it. However, however, we gotta. Uh, we can't. We can't scream into these. Mics yeah, we can't scream. Show. Okay, we're gonna hurt people's ears. <laughs> however, oh Nick, oh thank, thanks a lot, Nick. Now you vote. Now you speak up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, big brother. Um, anyway, I was looking through the people that voted, right? And Instagram is still creeping me out because I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh-huh. However, <laughs> looking through the people that voted yes or no. Yeah. Scrolling down the yes vote. Yes. One of the guys I, that comes up is Steve Weatherford. And Steve tell, Weatherford. Tell people that they, if they don't know who Steve Weatherford is. Steve Weatherford was a former uh, player for the New York Giants. Uh, he was a punter. So, yeah, so, I mean, the guy won a Super Bowl with the Giants, and he, what was his vote? What was his vote? His vote was yes. So that means if Steve Weatherford thinks that Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and everyone else who said yes, 52% of all the people that voted, then Die Hard is, in fact, a Christmas movie. So thank you. Well, thank you to our viewers that backed me up in this time of desperate need. Yeah, whatever. And Dom. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. Yeah, whatever. People just don't know what they're talking about. It's all right. Somewhat salty. Why don't you watch the fucking movie and then and then make it? <laughs> How would you put it out for me, Joe? I'll fucking put it out for you, you little bitch. Anyway. I've been saying this for like three years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, Die, Die Hard is is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Take Shut another up. sip of your eggnog. I will take another sip of my eggnog. Spike the eggnog. Can, 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 we, uh, can, can we tell the listeners what we're, yeah, what we're, we're drinking right now? Yeah, go ahead. Well, you're the one who did it. So. Well, got some eggnog. We got some whiskey. <laughs> And uh, you know this is our uh, this it, this isn't our first one today. No, you know? it's not. It's very good. It's put a little bit good. put a little bit of cinnamon on top. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good, good stuff. stuff. Christmas Spe- season. Speaking of favorite, you know, Christmas movies and uh-huh. Christmas uh-huh. media and all that, all that good stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what's your favorite TV show? The holiday edition. You know what I mean? Like, what's your favorite like Christmas special or holiday special for a TV show? My favorite TV show, uh-huh. Christmas edition. Yeah, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. The Christmas episode. Yes. I never saw it. Phenomenal. Really? Literally the funniest thing ever. Really? Yes. Oh, I gotta watch it. There, Charlie Day. Yeah, I love Charlie is, Day. I'm not, I won't spoil it for anybody listening or uh-huh. you, but there's a part, he goes to the mall and sees Santa. That's all I'm going to say. And he gets, I'm assuming he gets very excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say anything, because I oh, want okay. you to watch it. <laughs> all right. All right. Well. It's an hour. I think it's an hour long too. It's really? Like over Forty minutes. Oh, so maybe I will. I'll, maybe awesome. I'll, maybe I'll watch it. You don't. You don't have to watch the show uh-huh. to enjoy it. You well, can yeah. watch it and just put it on, man. You can just kind of. I mean, like you, you can. Up. Yeah, you can sense what the, the chemistry in the show yeah. delivers, but probably uh, my favorite show. Yeah, you'd yeah. say so. Um, One of. I think my favorite like holiday special for a TV show is probably a song of ass and fire from South Park. Okay. And that is uh, they do. It's like a Black Friday episode and. They um they have it where it's like PS4 versus Xbox and what's gonna win, but they model the whole like I think it's like three episodes. It's like a three episodes like like mini series. They model it around Game of Thrones, and it it's just honestly I, it's tailored to me. I love video games. I love Game of Thrones except for the eighth season, but we'll talk about that later. Never saw it. Well, that's a that's a problem. That's People problem. are gonna I'm gonna start exposing myself as a filmmaker. I'm exposing myself that a lot of. Material I Don't expose seen. yourself, dude. Well, I just did. That's disgusting. You want to expose? I don't expose want to. myself. No, no, don't you do sure? that. Not, not live. How about after uh, a couple more uh, eggnogs? I mean, it'll probably get to that point. All right, all right. I mean, we are in the back room <laughs> of your basement. For <laughs> people that didn't tune into episode one, yes, we're filming this out of my parents' basement. Yes, in the right. back. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's go on. All right. So, on the topic of favorite holiday. Mm-hmm. Things, so mm-hmm. to speak. Mm-hmm. What's one of your favorite? You like ho- my uh, Santa gnome over here. I do like your Santa gnome. Can you guys see it? <laughs> anyway, I just got hit with a wave of, uh, you know, we're gonna have to stop filming. This whiskey. Nope. All right, let's go. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> All right, Dom. What are your favorite holiday memories? Favorite holiday memory for Christmas. Number one mm-hmm. is Christmas morning. I'm sure probably ninety percent of yeah America can say that. Who doesn't love <laughs> Christmas morning? Last yeah. couple of years, I just go down there, like kind of wake up for my whole family. Go down there, get a cup of coffee. Very nice. Bring Bud, my dog. Buddy. We, we, we chill on the couch, Very surrounded nice. by the presents, watching... Uh, watch Christmas Story? Christmas Story on nice. TBS. Nice, I watch that literally the Every, entire day. Yeah. When yeah. it's on for 25 or tw- 24 hours. I saw that for the first time last year. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't say anything. I, I never saw Die Hard, so... Yeah, so shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my... Yeah. That's well, your favorite Christmas memory overall? 
Like, do you have any other? Um, no, I mean, there's a lot. There's a bunch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my family probably the last four years. Every time Star Wars comes out, goes for, since Force Awakens. Yeah. Then it was Rogue One. I fell asleep during watching Rogue One. I don't know how. That movie's fantastic. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the best Star Wars. Um, Changed my mind. And then Last Jedi, and then this year, right, the 26th, we're going. Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, so that, that's a new tradition we got going. Cool. Um, we usually do like a like a family pizza. We make pizzas and everything. That's awesome. After Christmas. Sounds like fun. Yeah, man. That's it's, a good thing, it's a good thing I'm not either. there when you're making pizzas, because... They weren't even making in the oven. Yeah, it's true. I'd eat that. I just you'd eat the raw dough. Yeah, they'd be all. It'd be all <laughs> gone. Sorry. So nothing beats Christmas morning, and then just you know hanging out with your family, uh, being surrounded by the, the ones that you love. Uh, for me, some of my favorite holiday memories, um, probably growing up as a kid, going to my grandfather's house on Christmas Eve on my dad's side. Mm. Uh, my grandfather's since passed, but yeah, honestly, a lot of a lot of Christmas memories at that at you know at my grandfather's house on Christmas Eve. So many to count, but like just going there every Christmas Eve was always a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then probably another one for me is like when we were growing up. Now me and my brother are nine years apart, which is crazy, mm-hmm. but we still remain close. Yeah. So as kids, now when I say as kids, I was like nine years old and he was like eighteen. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would always wake up too early, and I'd go into his room and I'd bother him. You know, I'd wake his ass up. Um, but you know, if he was feeling up to it, he would wake up. We would hang out, watch a movie, play video games, whatever the case may be, and it would just be a good time, you know. And I, and I love, I love those memories. And then when it was time to go down, Christmas morning, we would wake up my parents, go mm-hmm. down. It took forever when I was a kid. Yeah, if you, my parents, they're probably gonna be listening right now. <laughs> Literally, you wake up. Me, yeah, me and Mark would do the same thing where we wake up mm-hmm. excited, you know, can't wait to get downstairs. Yeah. And then we gotta wait for my dad to go get the tripod for the camera. It's upstairs. That takes another hour. Then he has to go to the bathroom. Then he's <laughs> I won't he's get brush his teeth. Yeah, I won't get into too detail about that. That so, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's cool, man. That's really cool. But anyway, Dom, like, <clears throat> what do you think like a potential Christmas album would be like for us? A Christmas album? <clears throat> yeah, like I think a, we have the perfect Christmas album. Like if we released one, yeah, you know, like, it'd be perfect. We'd probably set it up like a '90s like infomercial. Yeah, and it'd probably go something like this. <laughs> This holiday, get yourself a Stunod Christmas album with holiday favorites such as Joey the Red Nose Stunod, Dominic the Christmas Stunod Donkey, I Saw Mommy Kissing a Stunod, Grandma Got Run Over by the Stunods, and the personal favorite, All I Want for Christmas is a Stunod. Listen to it on Christmas Eve, listen to it on Christmas Day, fuck, listen to it on New Year's Eve, I don't give a fuck what you do with it, just buy it now. Oh my god, every time I listen to this album, it makes my jingle bells ring. <laughs> Warning, all proceeds go to Dom and Joe's Beer Fund. Also, there will be an additional 57 payments of $87.99 for shipping and handling. Listeners, discretion be advised. That is good. That's good that shit. That is good. You know, that would that could, that would sell. That would 100% sell. That would sell. We actually have copies. We don't have copies. We have copies. We can make copies. We can make copies. Wait, all right. Okay, so you said December 3rd. That it was probably like December 3rd. Holy Jesus. What the hell was that? Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Something, um, uh, someone's breaking in the house. I guess so. God, it's the Grinch. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna steal our tree. <laughs> God fucking damn it, dude. Jim Carrey, get the hell out of my house. Are you having a holly jolly Christmas? That's it, I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> um It's practically here. What like when do you think is like the perfect time to start listening to Christmas music and then stop listening to Christmas music? Well, I have a rule. You have a rule. I have a rule. Okay. Let me, okay, let me hear your rule. I do not listen to Christmas uh-huh. music until Thanksgiving dinner. Mm. Wait, Thanksgiving dinner? Yep. I was listening to it the day after Thanksgiving. That's when I start. I, I start Thanksgiving dinner. Because when you're watching the Macy's Parade, all right, in the morning when it starts at 9... Macy's or, Day Parade? Yeah. Yes. When it starts at 9 o'clock, you're watching it, and you're like, oh, it it's Thanksgiving. And then when Santa gets his fat ass <laughs> coming through that parade, that's when Christmas time starts, all okay, right? Okay, all right. Yeah. That's your thing. Santa's a pimp. To me, it's always... That guy's a pimp. Macy's Day Parade, that Santa, he's a, it's always the same Santa. Yeah. That guy's a pimp. I'm telling you. Wow. You really, you really like believe in that, don't you? Oh, I know it. But you know, Santa's not real. What? <laughs> He's not real. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> He's not real. You want a cookie? Yeah, give me a cookie. What kind of cookie do you want? We got a. Yeah, the, we got a pinoli. Yeah, we got give me the pinoli. Pinoli. You want a pinoli? Yeah, pinoli. Pinolis are good. These cookies were made by my mother. Oh. She's a fantastic cook. <laughs> we got a. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. We got some uh, oh, ricotta right. cookies. Mm-hmm. We got some fudge. Yep. Yeah. We got a pinoli. Yeah, it's good. I don't even know what these are called. <laughs> Me and my brother always call these nipple cookies. It is a nipple. Because <laughs> they look like a nipple. <laughs> Dom. Yeah. I think it's Joey. time we play a little game. Yeah. And the game. I like playing games. Is the holiday edition of Would You Rather. Oh, they're going to say strip poker. No, strip poker. I don't even know how to play poker. Me either. So what do we get? I just like the strip part of it. All right, then you can fucking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go strip for my parents. Okay. Oh, my God. So, Dom. This one's better. Ooh! That's strong. That is strong. Love yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this would you rather, huh? So, the first one. We'll, we'll keep it simple. Would you rather yep. chug a gallon of eggnog huh. or eat a whole gingerbread house? Eat a whole gingerbread house. Yeah. I feel like if I were to drink... That's disgusting. A whole gallon of eggnog? That's disgusting. I'd, I'd yak everywhere. Yeah. Would you rather be naughty or nice? Naughty. Naughty? <laughs> oh. Real freaking naughty. Real freaking naughty. <laughs> naughty freak. <laughs> naughty freak. <laughs> yeah, you'd rather be naughty? Well, it depends. What are the consequences of being naughty? That's a good question. Hmm. Maybe it's something you should think about before you ask me these questions. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, would you rather listen to Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You or Jingle Bells on repeat? So both of them are on repeat? Yeah. Jingle Bell, Like the original Jingle Bells? Yeah, the original. The original Jingle Bells. Yeah, I'd say so. Sorry, Mariah. Yeah, sorry. I would I would do Jingle Bells before your uh, your Christmas hit. <laughs> which actually just... I, I just hear it all the time. I I'm think I'm already just, hearing it on repeat. I think I, I just saw that, her, that that song just reached like number one. Still a classic, but... Yeah, it's a classic. I can't listen to it on repeat, man. Especially that last note she hits at the end. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Next right, question. Would you rather be locked in a room with a person who hates Christmas or a Christmas fanatic? Christmas fanatic, easily. Yeah, I 100%. feel like the person who hates Christmas... Who hates Christmas? Christmas fanatic is my uh, Uncle Gary. Shout out to you. Yeah, he's a Christmas fanatic. That's man. true. You saw his house, right? Oh my god, the house is insane. Incredible. The, those cut, those cutouts that he makes. Yeah. And the fact that somebody tried stealing. Yeah, them, someone tried stealing them. If you're if you're listening to this and you tried stealing those cutouts, I will hunt you down. I mean, come on now, come on. I will end you. You understand me? What it's are you the, doing? Nah, I mean, it's probably. Some and case. if you steal packages off someone's porch, you're right, an that's, asshole. Yeah, that's, you're a fucking scumbag. I'm sorry. That's bad. You can't do that. What the hell? What, what kind of person does that? Porch pirate. They're calling him. Hey, porch pirate. Porch pirate. Call him a butt pirate. Call him a butt pirate. Yes, yeah. because when he's locked up. Yeah. He's gonna in be, the butt. Yeah, he's going to be a butt pirate. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you rather receive money or gifts for Christmas? Oh, shit. How much money? Let's say every person that usually gives you a gift on Christmas, you're getting cash now instead. Probably cash. You want cash? I mean, I, I love gifts, but like, money's just easy, man. It's like, all right, here you go. Money's they don't easy, have... but like, but I... when you shop for a gift, it's you know, it's more the thought of yeah, it. That's but... what I'm saying. Like, I think I'd rather get gifts because it's like, like, wow, it's... they actually took their time to yeah. go buy me a gift, and they were they put thought into that's it. That's true. That's true. I'd rather yeah. get a gift on Christmas. Yeah. I think you know, especially if you have a job, like you're gonna get. Money yeah, that's on, true. You know, it's yeah, fine. yeah take my greedy ass back. Yeah, you I'll f- take a g- <laughs> fucking asshole. Sorry. Would you rather go the whole Christmas season without Christmas movies or Christmas songs? Wow. Wow, that's a good one. I don't know if I can go a whole without Christ- Christmas songs. I don't know if I can go a whole Christmas season without watching Die Hard. I don't know. Yeah, fuck you, Dom. Die Hard's a Christmas movie. Yeah. I would do songs. Songs. I, I can't go without songs. So you need songs, is what you're saying. I need songs. Yeah. yeah, I feel like for me that just ties everything in. Like, because you can just go anywhere. Like, I could be driving to work or wherever, and you're just blasting Christmas music. Yeah, and I feel like like with Christmas movies, like I'll probably watch Elf, Christmas Story. Yeah. But like, I'll watch them once, and that'll be it. Like when when it's Christmas, like around this time, like I'm constantly listening to Christmas music. Yeah, same. Oh my god. Oh my god, this next one's good. Really good. Okay, let me buckle up. <laughs> Would you rather never receive a gift ever again or give everyone in your family a sex toy for Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fudge. I don't know. <laughs> That's weird, man. I'm, I'm, I'll fucking take one for the team. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't think I'm ever giving a... I'm, no. I'm never getting a gift again. 
I'll, yeah, I'll take it for the team. Would you rather have Frosty the Snowman for a friend or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for a friend? Oh, that's a good question. Frosty. Really? Happy birthday! Yeah, that's all I could fucking do. Got to keep him in like the in in the freaking freezer. Oh, that's so true. That's a lot of maintenance. Yeah, wow. Rudolph, you uh, you know, and you ride around with him. And he's got a red nose. Did you like my impression of him? Yeah. What the hell was that? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> that wasn't Rudolph. Definitely wasn't Rudolph. Wait, do it, that was, again? it was oh. it was the Santa gnome. Uh, that's what he's saying right now. Anyway, would you rather live in a giant gingerbread house? Or ride on the Polar Express. Polar Express for me. I don't know, man. Gingerbread house. <laughs> Dude, if there's a fucking storm. Uh, you think icing's going to hold that shit up? <laughs> yeah. I'm going on the Polar Express. I get to meet Santa. I mean, the the elves, man. They they build a good gingerbread house. That's my, that's my cousin elf, John Secco. He's dead, I thought. Visit the North Pole or visit Bethlehem. North Pole. Well, I mean, like... Realistically, what the fuck is in the North Pole? Ice? Santa? Penguins? Dude, no. He's not real. What are you talking about? Oh my God, Dom. <laughs> no, seriously though, like North Pole, there's ice and a penguin probably. True. While waddling around. Uh-huh. And then at Bethlehem. You got Jesus. Jesus. Would you rather be given $100 for Christmas to buy things for yourself or $1,000 before Christmas to use to buy gifts for other people? Thousand dollars by gifts for other people. I feel Easy. Like, I feel like that's more fun. Yeah, hundred percent. It's like, what would you rather spend? A hundred dollars or a thousand dollars? Thousand dollars. And you're exactly. buying it for other people too. Yeah, you make them happy. Right. Make them nice and happy. All right, everybody. It's coming towards the end of the episode. Yes. And of course, our annual audience question for you, ladies and gents. Now, me and Joe typed up a bunch, but we picked it, picked out the best one. Do you prefer? Decorating your house, room, tree, etc. with multicolor lights or white lights. Multicolored lights. You multicolor. Yes. Everything. House, tree. Yes. I think I think if I'm gonna do white lights, it would be on the outside. White lights outside though? Yeah, I'd probably do white lights outside. It's clean. Classy. I don't know about that. Oh my god! But, uh, Are we ever gonna agree on anything? What multicolor lights is my answer. Joe is multicolor most of the time. He's eating away lights, on, on, on his uh, regatta cookie over here. Oh my god! Give me one of those freaking things. No, give me yeah, give me one of those. Yeah. Oh. All right, Joey. Well. You want to sign off? You want me to do a sign off? Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have for you on this holiday. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you on this uh, special Christmas. What? I'm doing the sign off. I, I thought I was doing it. Then you do it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dom. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now is the uh, concludes our episode of the Christmas edition. Don't forget to comment. Send notifications. Comment. Stop. Stop. Like. Stop. It's my turn. Don't forget to comment. No. And like. I'll I'll, I'll do th- I'll, I'll I'll do that part. Okay. All right. Just no. eat your eat your cookie. Oh, give me another one. I don't want that one. I want another one. I already had the fudge. Nope. I don't want that one. What the fuck? Nope. Not that one. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I don't want your nipple cookies. <laughs> well, everyone, that's all we have for you on this Christmas edition of the Sunads podcast. We want to thank everyone again for tuning into our second episode. Be sure to like, comment, comment and, subscribe. and subscribe and follow our page. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And subscribe. Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas, everybody. Yep. Although it's been said. Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas.